What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Alright, so for today's video, I'll be playing Monster Hunter Rise on PC. And you guys already know that I'll be doing a performance slash graphic settings video. And so the first thing to take note of is that this game is currently capped at 60 by default. These are all default settings. And you guys could see that it doesn't fluctuate, it doesn't struggle, so we're off to a good start right now. Um, but yeah. Let's jump right into the graphic settings. All right, so first things first, you're going to want to go all the way down to frame rate cap and set this either at unlimited or to match your current display frequency. So let's say, for example, you have a 165 hertz display like me, then you're going to go at 165. So I'm going to set that at 165 and we'll see from there. OK, so once I uncap it or pretty much cap it above 60, you guys can see that it it's in the 130s and dips between the 100 to 130 and now we're gonna go with the graphic settings so in the graphic settings you pretty much have three presets low average and high and i'm assuming that in low everything is turned down plus the resolution goes way down and then high everything is turned all the way up and uh yeah it's gonna be just beautiful but for now we're gonna stay at average and we're gonna play with the advanced graphic settings so like i said with the resolution um they didn't play with it it's gonna be set at 100 by default so we're gonna leave it at 100 high resolution textures we want this on we're gonna turn everything high we're gonna try it and see if it makes it dip to 60 um but if not then you know perfect all right so i pretty much set everything at the highest setting possible these are what I'm going to be using, I'm not going to be using film grain just because I don't really like it in certain games. Depth of field is on. Uh, lens distortion is going to be off just because it looks weird. Uh, motion blur is going to be set at default. Everything else is going to be on or at high. Uh, I can't change these for now, but I don't think it should affect anything. I don't think I'll be using dynamic shadows anyways. So yeah, I'm not going to go back in the title screen just to change it. But I pretty much change everything to high or on. And yeah, this should be it. All right, so check it out. Okay, so it's really weird. I think most of the settings were already on or already on high. Uh, but one last thing, I think I'm going to turn off um depth of field i don't know it gives us like a weird there you go okay so that's really nice i'm not hitting like under 100 it seems uh but we'll see like during fights so Alright, so I've been playing around with these settings, and I personally believe that pretty much any PC could run this game. You're not going to struggle or anything. I mean, to begin with, it wasn't going to be a graphically intensive game, but um, yeah, it's good to know. These are all on high settings, except for maybe a few settings that need to be changed, like in the title screen, but so far, so good. I'm happy with it, and uh, yeah, I'm going to be granting this game. Like I always recommend in pretty much almost every graphics performance uh, video, if you're really struggling, then I would recommend um, obviously setting everything to low using the low preset and uh, checking everything, really just bump everything to low or off. And I think the biggest one that will always eat your frames is always going to be shadows. So if you're really struggling with shadows, for example, let's say you put it out low. Right now, I'm currently running like at 100, between 100 to 130. If I set that low, we see an instant boost right away to 120. I don't know. Sometimes it fluctuates. Sometimes it affects it. Right now, there isn't too much shadows, but um, it really helps, honestly. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.